Greetings YouTube. Uh, like the title of this video says, it's pretty straightforward, MBAs are cancer. Uh, masters of Business Administration. The idea that understanding how a business functions and having great deals of skill in how to administer the operation of a business is somehow a secret that will unlock all knowledge to you. Um, it has a pervasive bit of cancerous myth that has permeated the business world of America, and I imagine in other places in the world that, that are deep, you know, deeply steeped in the cult of capitalism. Um, but specifically, I'm talking about Boeing. Now, I'll, I'll be linking to an article in the Big Blue, uh, which you can go take a look at, and it talks about how the folks in charge of Boeing now are all MBAs. They have purged the corporation of folks that were in leadership positions that were the engineers and the machinists, with the ones who had the really deep understanding and experience of how to design and build planes, which is a very specific type of skill. All right. Um, and while you can, you know, engineering could be overlapped in many ways. When you're doing something that is literally one of the most complex devices ever created by humanity, um, and you're going to put human lives in hundreds of them, and then take this thing and shove it into the sky, you want people who actually know how to do this job, engineers and machinists, to be doing the job. You don't want them to be in a situation where the people who are their bosses have no experience in that field. They're just business dudes. Because business dudes don't understand how the word world works. They live in a fantasy land. They have a, a, a narrative, a corporate narrative, that is far more important to them than anything else. And that one of that part of that narrative is that they are the smartest people in the room. Yeah, obviously, they have to be the smartest people in the room because they all have MBAs. And if you don't have an MBA, you have obviously demonstrated to them that you are not one of the smartest people in the room. Because only the smartest people in the room have MBAs. I have encountered this on a small scale in every business I've ever been in. Uh, I have worked at one company where the guy who founded the company, designed antennas, and he was a genius at designing antennas. This man was designing antennas three months before he died in his 80s. He was very good at designing antennas. And his son grew up in that environment, but didn't have an inclination to engineering. So he went into business. So he ran the business for his father, who would much rather be designing antennas. And his son spent his entire life living in the shadow of a man who actually could do things. And he grew into a bitter, angry, dangerous business owner. A man with an MBA and no skill at anything. It was a miserable working experience. Sadly, I didn't leave uh, when I should have, but eventually I did leave. Um, but Boeing did it worse, because if you screw up an antenna, somebody can't make a connection, which is suck sucky and potentially dangerous. But it's not as dangerous as putting human lives into a plane that has been supervised by folks that don't know how to build planes the world would be a better place if MBAs just didn't exist. If corporations weren't run as efficiently, but they were run by people who actually worked in the industry that the business is specialized in. This is a hill that I am willing to die on. MBAs are cancer and it's destroying our nation it's destroying our planet. It's destroying our, our ecosystem's capacity to support human life. And 
it's literally killing people in the case of Boeing planes that are falling out of the sky because they no longer know how to build planes. If you're not an engineer that knows a lot about build, plane building, I don't want you to be in charge of a business that builds planes. <laughs>